Body cams have been widely used by law enforcement agencies around the country, but deputy sheriffs here in Hawaii still don't have them, and they're likely years away from getting them. Manolo Morales has more on why it's taking so long. HPD started using body cams nearly four years ago. As for deputy sheriffs, lawmakers tell us the Department of Public Safety has not asked for funding for them. In those few years, body cam footage has provided key evidence in major cases for the police department. Lawmakers point out that it's just a good idea to have them with any interaction with the public. Especially when it's controversial as to how it was handled, I think it's a good idea. They do have some backup in terms of, you know, at least showing that they did their job properly. I think it's always important. He adds that body cams could have been helpful in Friday's incident when the deputy was arrested for assaulting another deputy at the airport. The department initially said the deputy was charged, but the attorney general's office now tells us that he was arrested and released pending further investigation. Nishihara says he has spoken with the director of the Department of Public Safety and there are plans to get body cams, but getting them out into the streets is still a few years away. The way it's going now is they're going to come and ask the legislature for money to, to purchase these uh, uh, body cams. And then they have to go through a process of make sure people know how to uh, train to do it. The Department of Public Safety sent a statement saying it considered establishing a body-worn camera initiative in the past, but due to COVID-19 related budget constraints across the state at the time, the department was unable to institute the program. ACLU Hawaii says deputies should have them as long as good policies are in place. We've seen instances in the past where body cams weren't turned on when they should have been turned on, where body cam footage was taken but not released, and in some cases where body cam footage was taken and released selectively, um, and none of that is any good. Wish adds that PSD can learn some lessons from the mistakes made by other law enforcement agencies. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.